Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new video for you all today. Now this is actually a video that I've had done for a few weeks now, but finally I decided to voice over it and get it up for you guys. It's a pretty simplistic video. Today I bring you loot from 1,000 Skeletal Wyverns. Now originally I was going to kill 3,000 on my Iron Man, but I did decide to just use the Wyvern alt account that I use for the Spitting Wyvern video. I am actually using this account quite often and I have throughout the past few months. You know, this is the account with the ornament pool as well as a lot of quests complete, so I'm able to do a lot of clue scrolls on this account, and I think it just works better for the loot series in the long run. So yeah, we will be slowly finishing off all of the wyverns and then most likely all of the dragons in the game using both this account and Mr. No Sleep the main. I do, of course, have some creative ideas for the Iron Man as well, but don't worry, those are soon to come. So first things first, I want to talk about the gear choice for this video because a lot of people in the Spitting Wyvern video were a little confused as to why I use such newbie gear, you know, the HP cape and the Varrock helmet. People were very much concerned as to why I was not using max strength, and basically the goal was to just kind of put 50 mil on this account and build up the bank as much as I could through the loot series and just the loot series. The only other thing this account is currently being used for is a kingdom video where I'm trying to do a long-term kingdom related video for miscellanea, as well as stocking up herb boxes. So yeah, this really was just to kind of build up a bank by killing monsters in this series. So don't worry too much about the gear, but I did take your guys' advice somewhat, and I did go ahead and upgrade the amulet to a torture, and uh, compared to the Spitting Wyvern video, I was using a Berserker ring imbued in this one, manually picking up all of the coins rather than just making the Ring of Wealth do it for me. And later on into the video at the halfway point, I did upgrade the Varrock helmet to a Nezi, and the HP cape was then replaced by a fire cape. So yeah, I do appreciate appreciate you guys' feedback on that. This account actually didn't have a fire cape, so I just had to do Jad again real quick to get one, but uh, with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into the video. Tracking all the kills for this video was relatively easy, you know, picking up every single wyvern bone that I did get. Uh, when I got to a thousand, I knew that a thousand kills was up. For the inventory, you know, I was just bringing one sip of super combat and two super restores. The reason I wanted to bring super restores was because these wyverns do drop prayer potion fours as a drop, and I didn't didn't want to get anything mixed in, so I just decided to spend a little bit more money on the restores. Makes the loot tab a little easier to track and just more accurate in the long run. And since I was using Pity in Preserve the whole time, I would say the restores were absolutely necessary. Uh, using Pity actually increased my kills per hour up to 45, so I would say it was worth it to get the video done faster. I would say most people do use melee here, you know, a lot of people in normal worlds. I myself was using 2200 total, so I was virtually alone the whole entire time except maybe two times there was people that were just doing a quick slayer task but if you don't want to use melee here that's completely fine you can safe spot them with range that is a very popular method especially for iron men accounts one thing that skeletal wyverns are very popular for is the fact that a lot of their drops are noted and you can also alk them if you never want to bank then alking them and just stacking up all the noted drops is certainly a good way to just kind of stay here forever the only downside of using that method is you will not be obviously collecting all the bones, you're most likely just going to be burying those or using a bone crusher and getting some extra prayer XP. But since this is a loot series, obviously we do pick up everything, so yeah, on average I was getting about 17 kills a trip. Using a whip the whole time, nothing too fancy, uh, with Pity as well as being maxed, you know, the kills per hour were pretty significant, but your kills per hour all depend on your combat and uh, of course the way that you kill them, whether you're going to use range safe spotting or just using melee with a whip. And obviously the attributes of these wyverns is that they are considered to be a dragon, so you do need to have a special shield so you don't get hit for a 50 or anything crazy like that. Whether it's an elemental shield, a mind shield, a DFS, a ward, or even the ancient wyvern shield, which unfortunately these do not actually drop, you will need one of those shields to just make sure you don't get hit too hard here. Now as it goes for the requirements, you really only need 72 slayer to kill these wyverns. These are found in the As. Garnian Ice Dungeon, I hope I pronounced that correctly. The weakness to these wyverns is Slash, Crush, as well as Dragon Bane weapons, but uh, since we were using a whip, we didn't really go with the Dragon Bane setup. And a little bit about the Skeletal Wyvern in general, they were released into the game December 12th, 2005, and honestly, they were not too popular until September 18th, 2014, when Jagex decided to give the drop table a huge boost in value, adding things like Battle Staves, Magic 
magic logs, and of course all the rune items, which are great alchemals. Before this, they were really only known for dropping granite legs, and of course the draconic visage, not the skeletal visage, that's for the uh, fossil island wyverns. And really the only update to talk about other than the September update in 2014 was January 21st, 2016, the task-only skeletal wyvern area was added, which all you have to do to reach that if you're given a slayer task and the world is too crowded is really just to go up those icy steps to the north right when you get into the entrance here and there is tons of wyverns up there so there's never any problem if you have a slayer task of these and every world is a little too populated. I would say skeletal wyverns are not as popular as they used to be. I mean when old school runescape first came out and when the update hit where these just became so much profit per hour uh, back when Zolra was the best money in game I would say this was definitely top three at that time. However since things that were released into the game for example raids and then brutal black dragons and especially rune dragons you really don't see too many people at skeletal wyverns as much as you used to and that is understandable you know seeing other monsters be released into the game throughout the past few years especially with them being so much more profitable you can understand why skeletal wyverns aren't as popular as they used to be so you shouldn't really have too many problems finding a clear world or at least finding at least one spot where you can camp the spawn time on these are really fast so you shouldn't have to worry about killing multiple wyverns or just kind of running around the whole cave. If you stick to one spot or maybe even two, you should be fine. You should never really have a problem as it goes for just getting consistent amount of kills. The rarest drop that you can get here, as I'm sure most of all of you know, is the Draconic Visage, which is 1 in 10,000. There will be some occasions where you see things like the cut dragon stones or the rune bars. Even at one point, I did receive a rune square shield, which is 1 in 3k. Or to be exact, it's about 1 in 2,731. And that's just to be expected. You know, there's always going to be that odd rare drop table where it's not as valuable as it is for the main rare drops. But at the same time, it's still worth, you know, noting. It's still worth getting on video. RNG is different for everyone. So, you know, just depending on your luck, you can get lucky here. But the Draconic Visage is only at 5 5 mil as I mentioned in the Vorkath video so you know really just coming to skeletal wyverns I'd say is recommended for lower levels the only requirement is 72 slayer you don't really need a lot of quests like you do for rune dragons or brutal black dragons or anything like that here the gear choice can be so minimal and you really don't have to have too much to kill them so you know I'd say skeletal wyverns is good for med level accounts maybe if you're in the lower tier of 100 combat it's pretty decent money it's definitely worth checking out if you're on the rebuild I would say you know it's not as click intensive as Zolra and it's really just laid back you know you can do this while you're on multiple accounts with no effort the only clips that I was really getting was just the occasional D leg or granite leg or skirt drop of course the two elite clues as well but yeah really just a lot of banking involved and that's about it as seen here the 1000 is shown on the slayer kill log and of course we do have the 1000 bones this really did fly by so let's go ahead and get into the price check this would be all of the bones a little bit of herbs decent amount of rune and addy bolts for you Ironmen out there who do need those ruby bolts E in the future. You can expect about 2k Addy bolts on average. Decent amount of runes as well as seeds. Very useful seeds I might add. Snapdragon and Renar. Amazing for herb lore. Somewhat decent amount of alkables, you know, rune full helms as well as some kite shields on top of the warhammers. First price check does come out to be just about 9.5 mil. Not too bad. Of course we do have to price check everything else now and this will give us our full amount from 1,000 skeletal wyvern kills and then we'll go ahead and open those two elite caskets. This would be all of the rares. No visage was achieved. I wasn't really expecting one when it's 1 in 10k. And again, I already have a DFS on my Iron Man, so I wasn't really too concerned with, you know, losing out on the chance of getting that on that account. The second price check does come out to be approximately 7.3 mil. Some nice drops in there, you know, 5,000 iron ore exactly, almost 200 battle stabs, the rares being the rune bar as well as the rune square shield. Uh, you know, not too impressive but at the same time for such a laid-back monster and such an easy monster to kill not too bad at all 16.8 mil from 1,000 skeletal wyverns overall and from the two elite clue caskets we are going to go ahead and open those now this account had actually done no elite clues yet so this will be pretty cool to track um, from start to finish in this series from now on first elite we did receive 80k and the second one a whopping 92k but yeah 16.8 mil plus about 200k in clues so about 17 mil 
mil overall minus 2 mil from the supplies meaning that we made 15 mil profit from 1000 skeletal wyverns very afk uh nothing more than netflix is needed when you're wanting to kill these wyverns or if you're on multiple accounts you can expect skeletal wyverns to be a reliable source to keep giving you the bonds that you need every month bonds being so expensive it is nice to do a thing on the side to earn yourself some gp so don't look at skeletal wyverns as the next best thing but look at them as something that can kind of progress you slowly but surely and for you iron men out there they're certainly good for supplies so uh with all that being said i hope you guys enjoyed the video i know it was a pretty simplistic one but not every monster can be exciting uh this account has actually done another video that i will upload one of these days but right now i am prioritizing some amazing holiday related loot videos on the main account you guys will see that at the very beginning of january so yeah we are going to slowly but surely finish all the wyverns in the game and all the dragons in the game and eventually all the monsters in the game i do appreciate you guys' time today thank you very much for watching the video and until next time mr no sleep out